So I'm on my way to an island here in the south of Cambodia called Koh Rong. It has a sister island called Koh Rong Samolam or something like that. Anyway, it's been quite a journey. Our bus broke down. Uh, we got stuck on the wrong boat several times and a trip that was supposed to take four hours is now going on seven hours, but hopefully, hopefully this time we're gonna make it. Okay, here I am. I'm at Koh Touch Beach. Let's take a look. So far it looks like a beautiful village. The water is very green, very clear. I can see right down to the bottom already. I've seen lots of other YouTube videos about this place, so I, I kind of feel like I've already been here. Here's some of the things you can do on the island. Snorkeling, scuba diving, fishing, taking selfies. Uh, there's glowing plankton. There's police here. There's an island dog. Hello, island dog. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm excited. The air, the air smells really nice. There's a nice ocean breeze. People seem really relaxed. It seems clean. Well, I made it to Sweet View, and here you can see it is a sweet view. And I got a private bathroom. Yeah, it'll do. Okay, I think it's time to go explore this island. Let's see what sort of magical adventures we can get ourselves into here on Koh Rong. And anyway, there's no bank machine here, so I only brought, I only brought like 350 USD and I already regret it because uh, if you wanna take out any cash here, you're gonna pay 10%. So if you take out $400, you're gonna be paying $40. So bring more money than I did if you're gonna stay a while. The puppies are free though. If you need your coffee, they have plenty of espresso stations. Yeah, they have espresso stations here. The hotels range from 15 USD a night for a fan room with no window and up, but you can negotiate. I'm gonna be staying in this hotel in a few days and I got it for 13 US a night for a fan room. Motorcycles, if you rent them from a resort, it's going to be $15 per day. But you can negotiate down to $7 a day if you hustle and uh, know how to talk to the locals. But what they try to do is they'll say, oh, I'll give it to you for $8 a day with no gas. But then if it's $10 a day with a full tank of gas, what happens when you use that gas? You're still paying $10 a day. So you can negotiate. So they're advertising like a uh, a group of bananas is two dollars US. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? I'm walking. Okay. I'm just. I'm just gonna walk. I can walk across the jungle to Long Beach, right? Uh, no, it's this way. This way. Yes. Yeah. Is a trail. Yes. Yeah, you on the trip about uh, 40 minutes from home. 40 minutes. Is it hard or easy? It's not easy now. It's not now, but it's not long. It's, oh, it's, it's, a, it's not, it's not long, party walking. It's not long? Yeah. It's, so it's difficult? It's difficult, yeah. Oh. Because there's too much jungle growing. Yeah, uh, we, saw, we go about two years ago. Two years ago from COVID, nobody they walk. It's not his more the tree. Uh. A lot of growth on the, on the road. Oh, okay. They, but it's just dry and they, and they were walking long time. <laughs> but I won't die? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and maybe I see a cobra? <laughs> How much just for the fishing rod? Uh, only for it, quite a lot per day. Per day? Yes, sir. Okay. And you can catch fish right, right here, huh? Yes, yes. I'll call that. Nice. <laughs> the internet doesn't work everywhere on the island, but I tested the speed here in, in a few restaurants and I got up to 10 megabytes download. So it's doable. 
you can stream anything you want and it hasn't failed me yet. I also have data on my phone and it seems to be working okay as well. I found the garbage truck. Oh. He's dead. And here's an idea of some of the prices in the local beach bars here. You can get cocktails for four dollars, whiskey drinks up to seven dollars a shot, or you can get a hundred and thirty-five dollar bottle of whatever that is. Actually, it's this island, uh, this part of the island is known as the party spot, but I was here all last night. There were no parties. It was pretty mellow. Apparently, there's a full moon party on Friday, and Fridays are the party nights here on Koh Rong, if that's what you're into. Let's take a look at some of these beach bungalows. They look pretty run down. Um, COVID destroyed a lot of the businesses here. Like, well, the lockdowns destroyed a lot of the businesses here. COVID didn't do anything to the businesses, but as you can see, it's in absolute shambles. At one point, this would have been a great guest house at one point, I'm sure. But they're just, uh, they're dead. The lockdowns destroyed them. So carrying on down the beach, we come to Treehouse Bungalow and Resort. And it's really stunning in here. It's just amazing looking. I wonder how much these cost, probably a lot. How cool would it be to stay up there? I made friends with a monkey yesterday, so I'm just going to go see if she's home. So today. Hello, my monkey friends. I don't have any gift for you. It's kind of weird seeing a monkey on a leash. I feel almost like it's a little human and little humans shouldn't be on leashes either. So now this is my first time taking the trail from Touch Beach to Long Set Beach and it's a nice quiet jungle trail and there's all these abandoned abandoned guest houses that are just being swallowed by the jungle after two years of neglect. No, nope, they're abandoned all right. Look at this. Just full of trash. People are using this to party but the light's on. Actually, I see for sale signs all over the island. The lockdowns really devastated Southeast Asia's tourism industry, which is a massive part of their GDP. It really bothered me in the early days of the pandemic when I get into arguments with people who were very, very pro lockdown. And I said this, I said the economic downfall of, of these lockdowns is gonna be worse than the death, the deaths. Like, more people will die from losing their income around the world than they will from getting pneumonia. Ow, I am being eaten by red ants. Vicious. But some of the other YouTubers that I've been watching who came to Koh Rong, they didn't even stay in hotels or guest houses or hostels. They just brought hammocks and threw the hammocks up and slept in the jungle. They slept on the beach and nobody, nobody complained. Guys, it's so nice to just be in the quiet. Like, this island has 23 beaches and it's not a tiny island either. It's just very underdeveloped compared to a lot of the islands in, say, Thailand. And if you want to get away from it all and then party at night, you can do it here. Look at all these beef cakes. Okay, so this is Nest. Broken. Broken. Not a uh, battery. No power. No power to the battery. <laughs> no luck. Man, like it's super chill. Even if you if you want to be in the party scene with the young people. You have that, but if you just want to hang out with locals as they repair boats, you can do that. 
So you're burning cashews? When you take it from the food, inside there is some poison, like uh, Yeah, it, it's, I know, this poison, it makes your lips numb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I ate this, I ate one once with a shell, and I couldn't feel my mouth like a chili pepper is one million hot, times hot, burning my lips off. Yeah, yeah, it happened to me like uh, three weeks ago. And I, I drink water, and I, it's like, poison it yeah make me like feel bad and it's like you just sucked off the devil yeah <laughs> this is damn too much like uh, because I, I i didn't know see oh you burnt it or this one well good luck man that's you have a pretty fun <laughs> a pretty fun adventure for the rest of the day huh yeah, yeah. as your girlfriend yeah <laughs> you're providing you're a real man you know <laughs> providing calories yeah. I think it'd be easier to fish. Yeah, but uh, vegetarian, uh, vegetarian, no? Ah. We have to take from the tree. You can rent these tents. These ones are probably expensive tents, but I mean, come on. Look at this. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you're a YouTuber who always seems to have the sun at their back when they're trying to film. Look at how much better it looks when I'm facing the sun, but that's the wrong direction! Jeez, everybody's hard at work over here. How cool this is. Everything's made out of wood, natural natural artifacts you would find around the island. What do you think? Would you would you investigate this beach? Check out this sand. It's some of the softest sand I've ever felt on my little Tootsies. So I think this is Longset Beach and as you can see it's more of the same but there's more space than you'd find on a lot of beaches and other more popular places like Koh Phi or Koh Phangan and, and um, yeah lots of beautiful people. Do it, bro. <laughs> that was amazing. Learned it yesterday. Here's some prices of the local excursions. We've got boat trips for 20 bucks, snorkeling. You can see for yourself. Oh, it's warm. It's it's just like a bathtub. I feel like, I feel exactly like a baby dolphin in a bathtub. I don't know why a dolphin would need a bathtub. But if they did, it would feel like this. Who doesn't love the feeling of a warm wave slapping you across the nipples? I know I do. Okay, I think I'm going to finish this beach off by going down to whatever that restaurant is and getting myself a drink. Come with me. Let's go together. Let's go together. I'm not alone all the time. Let's go together, YouTube. <laughs> Let's go together, YouTube.